As we approach the midpoint of this multiplied journey, the question is, where are we going? Our primary goal has always been 100% engagement. That means all of us growing deeper in our relationship with God and deeper in being active participants in the life of His church. We chose to make a financial commitment to multiply during a time in our lives where, you know, he was still waiting for his job to come through. And so we have two young children. I think once we really surrendered and once we really took that faith, that leap of faith, I think it was, um, I just trusted that God was going to provide for us. And, and he did. It's shown me how God provides for me. I think I have a tendency to be very self-sufficient and independent and assume that I have a good job because I'm pretty great. Um, I'm really something, you know? I, I, of course I have money and don't have these struggles, but uh, by sacrificing and giving more, it's made me more aware of the ways that God provides for me throughout the days and months. And I now, when I see these provisions, I think I'm getting better at identifying them as gifts from God. In the way that I have surrendered my time to God, in addition to making you know, my tithes and offerings, it has just shown me a different way to live that is just more fulfilling. Just asking God, all right, just give me my next step. I don't need to know, you know where we're going, I just need to know one step. That to me has been the best, best part of this Multiply Initiative. When I think of making a commitment to the Multiply vision here at TDC, I think of it as a formal opportunity to express my relationship with this church and with the Lord through this church because it's a great thought to be generous, but until we put it into action, then it can often fall by the wayside. And so by making my commitment, I have a structured framework and the way that I'm going to progress in my relationship with the Lord. I want to take this opportunity also to thank uh, District Church for the support and uh, friendship with our organization, what we are doing, and your generosity have really impacted many lives. And as a District Church, every time I come to visit you, uh, find, I'm feel, I feel home. The way you worship, the way you give the, the, the importance to the Word of God, which can bring transformation. Giving is first a, a gift from God to those that are engaging in it and an opportunity to ask yourself, what do I really need? I would just encourage others in the church to trust God and ask, what does he want to teach me in this season by giving up things that maybe are hard or um, trusting that he's going to do more than I could do myself. I can't even imagine the amazing things that God will do with us and through us and through this commitment through our church uh, in this city. and. There's just a certain wonder or joy when, when I think about it from that perspective. The God we serve is a God of abundance. It's not a, it's not a zero sum game where if you take from here, you have to. God is able to provide funds for the finding a permanent location in DC, whilst at the same time also supporting the church to multiply our support for our partners and everything. God is able to do all that and God sometimes meets needs in various ways that sometimes we may not even imagine because the ways of God are not our ways but God would definitely do something that would surprise us because that's what God does. When we give like this, it doesn't just fund the mission to help us accomplish our goals. This type of giving is the mission for the gospel is proclaimed in our acts of generosity. Yeah.